Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new, hello, my name is Sarah, and I make lots of gift guide videos. <laughs> it's pretty much all I've made the past few days. And I also make lots of other mom content and lifestyle content, like cooking, what's for dinner videos, clean with me's, decorating. I also do plus size fashion and beauty and makeup. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I post. And if this is the first video that you're watching of me, um, I love making these Christmas videos and gift guides and what I got my kids for Christmas. I also make them throughout the whole rest of the year for Valentine's Day, Easter, birthdays, all of that jazz. So if you like these types of things, you should definitely subscribe because I will continue making them. I also have last year's stocking stuffers and I think I did the years before stocking stuffers, but I'm not positive, but I definitely have last year's and um, I also have all the rest of the gift cards because I have done what I got my kids for Christmas for three years now and my husband's for two years. So if any of that you are interested in, I promise it's all on my channel so you should check it out. Okay, I keep looking over here because I'm like having anxiety for the fact what I did. I don't even know. I Guys, if you watched my what I got my kids for Christmas video, I was like, okay, I'm done. Yeah, I think you did so great this year. I kept shopping. I kept shopping. I shopped so much all the freaking deals came i feel like everything just started just dropping and i got notifications and i literally just need to unsubscribe from all of the stores and not do anything because it got excessive so if you're here for excessive hello my name is sarah and you're about to watch a lot of it and if you feel like this is ridiculous then you know what you're probably right but i'm also doing it so you don't have to do that for your kid i just like giving you ideas um, and yeah, I'm also going to share with you what I got my husband in his stocking. Um, I do that every year too, at least it started last year. And I, it is so, I've shared what I got my uh, husband for Christmas and from the past two years. So if you're interested, I just posted this past week what I got him for this year. And he's a picky little fellow. I love him so much, but he's picky. And trying to figure out what to shove in his stocking is always hard too. So um, I hope I give you ideas if you have a man in your life that you need to buy stuff for. Because I feel like this fits every mold, not just husbands, not just boyfriends, not just whomever like romantic partners but also like brothers or friends or dads or whoever's spending Christmas with, with you and you need to come full of stocking stuffer ideas. So let's start with him shall we? Of course. Oh little sure. <laughs> Alright my mom called in the middle of that so we're just gonna restart because I lost track of where I was and we're gonna restart it. So um, we're FaceTiming with my little nephew. He's two months. Okay. Anyway, moving on. So, um, these are the stockings that we use. I got them at Target. I love these. Um, they're like cable knit sweaters, but the only thing is they're not really stretchy. They're pretty narrow. They don't stretch and there's not a lot of space. So if you like to get everything in your stocking, these are probably not the best for you, but I don't really care. I just stuff stuff and what doesn't fit, I put around it. Um, but this is my husband's. His name begins with J, obviously. And there's two gifts that haven't arrived. I've been waiting to film this video because I was waiting for them to arrive because I feel like they make his stocking. But unfortunately, I don't want to wait any longer because I don't know when they're going to come in. So, um, I got him every Christmas. I always get him a new big full-size bottle of cologne. Um, pretty much for every occasion I get him a new bottle of cologne because he goes through it so fast and this year I got him one of his very favorites which is Burberry London I believe for men. Um, I will have a little picture that is the cologne that he wore on our honeymoon and so it's tied with a lot of really really great scents. I'm trying not to talk really loud because I don't want him to hear me. Anyway, it's tied with a lot of really really great scents and I also got him his favorite hair pomade. I don't know hair pomade hair pomade um from american crew fiber i believe i think it is um but both of those items are more big ticket items and big 
more expensive stocking stuffers um of course like those are amazing gifts as is so don't feel the need to like put them in a stocking but that kind of is, like makes up the most of the value of the stocking um so i wanted to share them with you because they're both great but on top of that so the first thing is something that i've talked to you guys about before my whole entire family gets underwear um for in their stockings every year and this year's no no exception i shared with these particular undies with you last year and a lot of you guys said that your husbands love them too um and yeah they're great and they are the fruit of the loom breathable force waste stretch micro mesh with tri cool technology breathable mesh moisture wicking and quick dry they come in a bunch of different colors um i get them for him every christmas he loves them they're really comfortable they feel like nothing on apparently and i said this last year um and i'll say it this year but that he loves the way they cradle his um belongings and you guys died on that but that's what he says <laughs> i'm just gonna share it too anyway um i do size up in these because i feel like he, I don't know, I just size up. He doesn't really need the size up, but I do just to make it extra comfy. Um, but they're stretchy and nice and great. And you can get them at Target, Walmart, wherever Fruit of the Loom is sold, Amazon. I think I got these actually on Amazon, but you can get them anywhere. Um, the next thing is good old Lufa. I love to get him things that he needs, not necessarily like, he doesn't like to buy himself this stuff, you know? Like you don't necessarily love to buy yourself a toothbrush, but you need a toothbrush. So he's got a good old loofah. This is from Up and Up. Really inexpensive, perfect for the stocking though. Um, to go alongside that, his bottle of Mega Bottle, 33% bigger and better um, <laughs> body wash. This is Old Spice Pure Sport. And this takes up like the majority of the space pretty much, but it's great, he always needs it because if he doesn't, if he runs out, he doesn't go buy himself new body wash. He just uses mine until I buy him new body wash. Um, anyway, <laughs> a contact case, which this is probably going to gross some of you guys out, but I did not know this was common knowledge. I, I keep doing this. Okay, I didn't know this was common knowledge, but you're supposed to change and replace your contact case monthly. I literally wash mine out with hot water and soap. I didn't know you're supposed to replace it monthly. Apparently that's a thing. I, he broke his contact case and has been needing one for a long time. So I went on Amazon to try to find a cute one. And they would like give you like these massive quantities. And I'm like, I don't want that many. I just want one. Well, when I went to Target, it says replace case monthly to help maintain eye health. And even on each lid it says replace monthly. Didn't know that was a thing. My poor eyeballs, they've been through a lot in life. And that's probably another thing that's not helping them. So. Um, t let me know below if that is common knowledge and in my just like many eye doctors have never said replace your eye cakes monthly or I just probably never listened. But anyway, contact case. And, um, oh, flossers. Thin tech flossers that have like sticky residue on them. Don't know where that came from. Flossers. Um, so for his treats. He loves cotton candy. I always like to get him one of these jumbo ones. These are the Fun Sweets cotton candy. This is in watermelon. This is actually from Big Lots, but um, I I don't think he's ever had the watermelon one, and I think it'll be fun to try. And it's Christmassy. It looks Christmas and summery. Um, and a whole entire thing of Starburst jelly beans because he also loves these things. Oddly enough, these are actually from Easter time. They still are way within date they have like a year span left and um i lost them and i couldn't find them finally cleaned down my closet found them so guess who's getting them in their stuff all right so we are moving on to my daughters i have two girls um one is named olive and she is five and that other one is eleanor and she is almost three um and I went crazy overboard and you guys are totally going to be like, that's ridiculous for stockings. And you're right, it is. But I hope I have ample enough ideas for you um, for them now. We're just going to start with Eleanor. And the first thing I have is this Toy Story 4 mini decanter body washes. She's Toy Story obsessed. Most of the stuff is Toy Story themed. And I found these at Walmart. I think they're super, super cute. They're like little figure decanters of the Toy Story characters, but they have body wash in them, so they're useful. But they're also something that they can play with later in the bath. And so there's Woody and Bo Peep. And I think these were like a few bucks, less than $5, maybe four or something at Walmart. I got them on Black Friday, but they weren't on sale. And they're in like the gift section um, at Walmart when you walk in with all the Christmas stuff. And they're just super, super cute. 
Next thing, like I said with my husband, we all get underwear. Eleanor has been wanting these for months. Yes, they are boys underwear, and you know what? I have no qualms about it. It is what it is. She wants them, they make her happy, she's getting them. Um, so these are just cute little Toy Story underwear. They don't really make Toy Story girl underwear. I haven't seen it anywhere. So it is what it is. She's wearing little briefs. Um, but they had these on sale on Black Friday for like four or five dollars. I hate buying character underwear because I feel like they are terrible quality and they fall apart so fast. And they're normally like 12 bucks. It's just ridiculous. But these were on sale for four or five dollars on Black Friday. So I totally snatched up that deal. So she got a set of Toy Story undies. Um, to go along with that, she get got this, which is so freaking cute. She like just this month has like recently just become obsessed with Barbies. Like loves to play with them, loves to take them around everywhere, loves to change their outfits. And to best of both worlds, because she loves Toy Story, I found this woody outfit which i think she's just gonna freak out about it is so freaking cute i got this at walmart the box is kind of ripped up and it's the last one so i'm gonna tape it down she's not gonna care but really 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 cute and i cannot wait like i want to put a barbie in this <laughs> um and to go along with her toy story i got this watch um from big lots for seven dollars and her big sister has a number of watches and she always wants a watch and so um, it's super cute though. I hopefully if you can see the illustrations of like all the characters. I just love the way it looks. I think it's super cute and it's a projection. So it like on a wall and stuff it has like characters and stuff. I don't know how you change the it has apparently 10 different scenes. I don't know really how you change it. But it's super cute like this one's buzz and you can't see that but she's gonna freak out and this is super adorable and for seven bucks and not too shabby um both girls are getting a lippy pals lip smacker in their stockings these were like on mega sale on amazon throughout this month i got them for a buck each i think they're normally like four or five and this is like a cat or a mouse or something oh it's a cat it's water meowlin i'll leave and um i don't get them a lot of candy because i don't think that they need a lot of candy we still have a ton of candy from halloween i never let them just like sit down and go ham on a whole pack so it, they it just doesn't ever get eaten i don't know anyway candy is candy i rather buy like toys or gifts than candy i don't know it is what it is but i did get them some treats um these lifesaver gummies which make me think of my childhood so much i used to have these but the hard version hard candy version and they came in like a little box anybody remember that like a st story looking box oh gives me memories anyway so i got them each a box of the gummies and then i of course everybody needs the little candy cane with the treats in it this are jelly beans i got all fruity things because i feel like for halloween this year they only got chocolate so you know, to balance it out. I also got these Jelly Belly Frozen 2 Jelly Beans from Target in the stocking stuffer sections. Um, this tiny box was like a buck, which I know it's not that big of a deal, but I just feel like this is a lot of money for a little box of Jelly Beans, but it is Jelly Belly. And hers is on because that's her favorite. All right, she is still in love with surprise toys. So I got this little Shopkins egg, which um, is also from Easter time and I lost it, but it looks like an ornament because it has a little thing. So, you know, working with it. Um, and then I also got the Shopkins Real Littles. She has had so many of these things. She freaking loves these. I'm pretty sure we have most of the collection now, but who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. So got her one of these. And then Disney Dorables, I think came out with a new season because it's a different colored door. Normally that signifies new season, but I'm honestly not positive. But I got her a little Dorables because she also likes the Dorables. Um, during Walmart's big sale of the year, they like toy sale that I always recommend, I was able to get the Party Pop Teenies for 25 cents. I don't know if these have been discontinued or what this brand happened, or it's from Spin Master, but the Party Pop Teenies line, I don't know if it just didn't sell. I feel like I haven't seen anything on it this year. Um, but they were pretty popular last year, but basically it's just like a cracker popper thing that has confetti and a figure, I think, inside. Um, this is from series one, series one, so I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know if you know anything about it, but these were on sale for 25 cents, so clearly, I don't think they were going really well. Um, that was the first thing I bought this year for Christmas. And this next thing is something that's kind of hilarious because I hate slime, like, 
hate slime. I just, I think it is such a waste. Not because the kids don't enjoy it or get use out of it, but because it destroys things. <laughs> it has destroyed my carpets. It has destroyed my clothes, the girls' clothes. It gets in hair. The freaking, if there's glitter in it, that stuff just never leaves. Like, I am not a slime person. I don't think, I just, I hate it. Um, but when my dad passed away earlier in October, um, we had some friends who were super sweet and would pack like packs of just toys and surprises and stuff for the girls to kind of put a smile on their face and keep them occupied while we were planning the funeral and all of that stuff. They were so sweet. And one of the things had putty in it. Now I knew putty as a kid and loved putty, but I just equated it with slime and like just continued to try to push it off, not opening it. Well, we opened it recently and it is great. Putty is great. Putty is like how I remember slime to be just better it's just it doesn't get sticky it doesn't like ruin things you can peel it off things it's amazing why is putty not more of a thing it is so hard to find my youngest became obsessed she called it her putty buddy and she would spend literally hours just like manipulating it and pulling it and twisting it and like i think she just loved the sensory aspect of it it helped her to calm down like loved it and I loved it because it wasn't messy and gross and it, she was happy as a clam with it. Well, I tried to search for putty and it no one makes putty, they make slime. Um, and I was finally able to get the putty that she was using, but just a bigger version, which is, I think this is from Crayola, but it's a silly putty, the big egg. Yeah, it's from Crayola. This is what I recommend. They do have one that has a bunch of scents in them and the scents had bad reviews because it was overwhelmingly strong. So I just got an unscented version, but I'm so excited for her to have her putty buddy. And if you are like me and don't like slime, but your kid wants that type of thing, try out Putty. At least this brand of Putty, because it actually is worth it to me. And this was like a couple bucks on Amazon. Um, my oldest had like a treasure chest at school, and she picked out one of these little fairies and loved them and then my youngest wanted one and these are from walmart these are perfect for stocking stuffers because they're really inexpensive and they're tiny um and these are the zuru sparkle girls i think these are like a dollar or two at walmart and i got my youngest a little one with blonde hair and fairy wings and then her little skirt has um donuts which is very perfect for my youngest so that is hers and then um lastly I don't even know what to do. I've mentioned half of this before. I honestly don't know what to do. But basically, I have these LOL dolls. <laughs> and my oldest wanted them at first, was like, LOL. And then she was like, whatever, LOL is lame now. Apparently, a five-year-old can change your mind in a week. Who knew? Anyway, so I honestly don't know what to do with them. Um, but then my youngest is now like, LOL, LOL, LOL. And I think she just likes it because she sees it on like Cookie Swirl C and stuff like that. Regardless, I got them for next to nothing and I just feel like someone's getting them for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, um, but I have two of the LOL Surprise Glitter Globe Winter Disco and I originally was going to have them for my oldest, then it went to my youngest and I was going to put these in the stockings. They don't fit in the stockings, but they're perfect for like the toe of the stockings. Um, so if you have bigger stockings or if you have the small LOL balls, um, I do recommend putting them in the toe because I think they're great for that. These don't fit in the stockings, but I was going to give these two to my youngest and then this one to my oldest, which is the LOL Surprise Hair Goals Makeover Series. I think this is the first series. I think they just came out with new hair ones, but they're like real hair and I figured my oldest would really like that. But she has like no interest in LOL anymore. I mean, it lasted like a month and I guess we just don't like it anymore. So I probably would just give all of these to my youngest. I don't know if I'm gonna wrap this as a present or if I, since they don't fit in the stocking, I may just wrap it as a present. Honestly, I don't know. But I wanted to share this because I do think they are great stocking stuffers. Um, if your little one wants LOL but you don't wanna buy the big surprise ones or just whatever. Um, Normally these have been like on sale throughout the whole entire month and last month and I'm sure you could probably still get your hands on them for um, I get a discount, but I think they're great stocking stuffers. I just don't know what to do with them now <laughs> um, Oh wait, and this is the last thing but it kind of moves into my oldest I got these um, little frozen two cups um, at Target, they were doing a really awesome Disney sale where basically you bought two things, you got one free, which I think is amazing. I should have gotten something better than this, but whatever. They're both going to love them. Um, and these are just the Zach Leak Proof Flexible Silicone Straw Cups. Um, they need new cups anyway, and they're obsessed with Frozen. So my youngest is obviously getting Anna because that's her jam. My oldest is getting Elsa. And I think these were like... 
seven bucks, nine bucks at Target. Um, they're pretty nice. I love the Zach brand and they're reliable. So I think we both really like them. And they're like a bit older kid without being like a sippy cup, like a baby cup, but they're leak proof. So, cause my kids still spill and I ain't about that. All right, moving to my oldest. So my oldest also got the body wash, but hers are frozen too. So she is on an Elsa, super cute. Um, I know she's gonna love these, so they both will each have like two little people to play with after we use them um, to wash their bodies. Next, her underwear is frozen too. Frozen to everything, just like Toy Story was my youngest. Hers is frozen too. Um, hers, once again, I got on sale at Walmart during Black Friday. Such a steal. I hope some of you got on that because that was such a steal. <laughs> I literally went to Walmart for underwear on Black Friday and the lady when we were checking out was like, this is what you came here for. People are here for TVs and you're here for underwear. And I'm like, I'm not spending 12 bucks, lady. Like, give these for four bucks, let me leave in peace, okay? I'm not causing disruption. Anyway, um, I got her also Party Pop Teeny for 25 cents. She also has this lip smacker, but hers is in a unicorn and it is unique magic. Unicorn magic, unique magic. I don't know what that's supposed to smell like, but that is the scent of hers. Um, this year, I think somebody in my family, I'm not even sure who, got her the Elsa vanity, where we're putting it, I have no idea. She wanted that really badly, and so I got her a couple of makeup items to go with it. Um, this is an ice cream scented face mask. I mean, it's one use, but she's been really wanting to do a face mask, um, and I wanted something that was a bit more kid appropriate, and this is ice cream. It's super cute. She's gonna love it. It was a bucket, big lots, and this is a perfect stocking stuffers. And then also for only a dollar at Big Lots, I got this eyeshadow palette. This is LA Colors Stunning, And this is, I guess that's the shade. I honestly, oh yeah, Stunning. No, it's there's a G, it's just covered. So this is Stunning, not Stunning. Excuse me. <laughs> um, but they're really, really pretty beautiful warm colors. It makes me think of my Huda, Be Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions palette. It's really pretty. So if you have somebody in your life that likes that kind of, those kind of color story or like wanted that palette, what not this is a really good option i mean it's a buck i can't tell you the quality yet but i think this would be great if you have like a teen or tween in your life um it's a good option check out big lots i mean literally this year i got a lot of stuff from them they they were rocking um she also got the gummies and the jelly beans and then her jellies her frozen jelly beans had elsa on them um she this year wanted this pick me pop cheek puffs because it has highlighter in it i guess or shimmer what her highlighter would be um for ages five plus i honestly don't know much about it she just saw it and really wanted it so we got it i think this was on sale um during on amazon at some point or another and i got it uh she i got this smushy mushy for like two bucks or something three bucks something cheap on walmart um and i ordered it because i thought this would be great for eleanor but then she has too much so this is going in ollie's but it's just a scented little squishy are it called squishies squishies mushies squishy squishy whatever the things squishy squishies that's hers <laughs> Um, but I think the smooshy mushy are pretty popular. I honestly have no idea. They haven't really been super into squishies, but um, they like the sensory and the like tactileness of them. So I think it'll be fine. And then my oldest, she got her little fairy. I guess she's not a fairy, she's not wings. She's a ballerina. So she has a pretty little tutu on and she's really cute. So that is hers from the Sparkle Girl series. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting stuff. I have this bow from Big Lots for six bucks. I think that they have some of these at Target for like nine. So if you're looking for big like JoJo style bows, um, but you have Frozen too, check Big Lots. This was six bucks. And I, they did have a lot of JoJo bows too for $6. So um, they had a ton. I wanted to get more, but we don't need them. Um, but I just thought this one was really pretty. It has Anna and Elsa and it says, believe in your journey. I think that's what it says and I just think it's really pretty so she will be very excited for that and then is that it besides this last item oh no I don't know if I'm gonna wrap this or not um, but this is the our generation school smart set I bought this on sale for I think like 
four dollars or something recently at target um as you guys know we if you watched the what i got my kids for christmas video she's getting a bunch of like 18 inch doll stuff and one of them is like a little desk and i'm gonna do like a whole school theme she got a little school set and so i got this cute little backpack notebook pen and sticky notes to go along with it um i don't know if i'm just gonna put it all in with the doll stuff or if i'm gonna put this in her stocking honestly nothing's gonna fit in her stocking so who knows but these are really cute stocking stuffers these little sizes and they have like shoes and little sets and puppies and stuff like that so these are great ideas and they've been on sale lately and then lastly this freaking thing so we were watching cookie scroll c um sometimes at night to kind of quiet them down we'll put like one video on and then we'll say our prayers read a book and go to bed but just kind of after they're like spazzing out from like life we just put one video on and then they can calm down so if your kid loves cookies we'll see like mine do like they love it it's favorite thing well cookies we'll see showed these little little jerks and then my daughter my oldest was like i need one these are so cool so they're like lol crack but like barbie version of lol basically a surprise toy like lol but barbie I just said that, but I changed the word. It's okay. Anyway, so it's like, okay, cool, whatever. They were about the same price. I think this was like $13 or something. Couldn't find it anywhere. Couldn't find it anywhere. I found out that they had like a pre-order because they expected them to go fast. Pre-order sold out. Then they went on sale on December 1st. Couldn't find them anywhere. Everybody said, kept saying they were sold out. I found these things going for like $100 on eBay, $75 on Amazon. I mean, just stupid. There was no way. But Holly was like all about it. This is literally her whole stocking. Let's just pop this in. I mean, this is Eleanor's stocking, but you get the drift. There we go. Done. <laughs> anyway, finally found a mecca of them at a Walmart far away. But... I don't I haven't seen anybody show these in their Christmas ones yet because these just came out I don't know if anybody's gonna be able to get their hands on them or if their kid even cares or have asked about them I think they're really cool basically they're a full Barbie that you dip in you like fill this thing up with water I think this thing and you it color changes it gets like all of this pink powder off of them and then you like wipe away their face and then they have makeup on it comes with a, a wig and hair or wig and clothes and shoes and all of that stuff um it's a cool idea and a cool concept and way for Barbie to like catch on to the whole LOL craze and of the surprise thing. I think that's awesome. However, what a bee to get these on, man. I am not someone who uses expletives, but man oh man was I just like over this search. But when I found them, let me know below if you've searched for something and you finally found it for like your kid and it's just like I felt like Arnold Schwarzenegger at Jingle All the Way with Turbo Man. It was like the clouds parted and angels have sung so this is one of the things i'm probably most excited to see how it works and she's probably gonna be like cool yeah cookies will see liked it whatever and then move on in like two days but i found it guys i freaking found it <laughs> all right that is it this video is ridiculously long like all of my past videos have been but you know what if you stuck around thank you so much for sticking around and i really really appreciate it i hope i gave you lots of different ideas of course this is an excessive amount of stocking stuffers but I pretty much hit every like spectrum with it so I hope I give you ideas I will try to link as much stuff if I can down below the issue with a lot of the stuff is it's kind of like in-store purchase only sort of situations but the stuff that I can link I will link for you and I hope you guys are having a wonderful Christmas season and holiday season if you celebrate Christmas if you don't I hope that this December has treated you well and you are filled with lots of love and joy and I am about to try to wrap the massive amount of stuff that I now am looking at. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.